what's going on guys welcome back to the channel we're here for another one today should be wednesday for y'all <laughs> it should be wednesday for y'all um due to how we're doing episodes um i don't even remember the episode. i think th this is going to be 35 and 36 i think um so yeah man we're getting there we're getting there so i appreciate you guys for coming through as always man thank you guys for being here watching this reaction hit the like button now because you're probably going to forget later and that's one of the things i need to encourage you guys more to do is to hit that like button at the beginning in the intro but most of y'all don't even watch my intros anyway but some of y'all are going to regret it don't worry you're gonna regret it some of y'all <laughs> that don't watch my intro they gonna regret it so i thank you guys who are watching my intro right now before you jump to go watch the reaction in the on the google drive you know i appreciate y'all okay i appreciate y'all anyways this is getting juicy general armstrong though you know what i'm saying you know what i mean women like that in in anime makes you want to lip lick your lips mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Ah, yeah. You know what I mean? She is sexy. You know what I'm saying? She is sexy. If you if you catch my drift, you catch my drift? No, no, you don't catch it. Oh, okay. I'm exaggerating that a little bit more. But she is a um um I would say so far in the show the best looking girl on the show um with winry coming in a strong second you know what i'm saying winry is pretty up there to it but winry is a child we don't we don't do that around here you know what i'm saying winry is a child because she's like a little bit i think she's maybe like a year or months older than edward i think yeah so she's pretty i think she's like a teenager or whatever but she is pretty though but you give me a woman i could love you know what i'm saying um the girl like when she lets when she lets her hair down she looks pretty fine too um i, I can never remember her name M uh, mustang's assistant girl i don't know why they don't just get married already because they they love each other literally they love each other so their chemistry is really great on the show so she is she's pretty too but i don't know it major well, not major armstrong um general armstrong is you know what i'm saying she's she got the juice let's just say that she got the juice but anyways guys let's jump into these reactions and i will see you guys for the, the, the for the review okay <laughs> All right, so that was 35 and 36 yo this story is it's fire you know what i'm saying i've said that enough times for you guys to know that i love this i love this story um 31 and 32 was kind of slow uh, but it really picked up over the last four episodes man it really picked up a lot of reveals a lot of you know introduced to i mean if i don't know she general armstrong has shot up to one of my favorite characters in the show i'm not even gonna lie like she's an instantly and it's not because of you know what i'm saying how she looks and me regarding her as the most beautiful it's just everything that she's doing right now you know what i'm saying everything that she's doing the way how she does things like i just really mess with it really heavy you know what i'm saying so she's a character that i really like like over all the characters that I've met so far. She's just shot up there. She's definitely already in my top five characters in the show. And we just met her like a couple of episodes ago. She's already up there. Um, just her attitude. I wouldn't be surprised if she's a fan favorite in the series um, so far. I mean, things are really moving along quite nicely right now. A lot of things are being revealed. She has reached out to, um, to Mustang so i knew she wasn't gonna turn on on you know us being on the good side and stuff because of what she stands for and the type of person that she in the small amount of time that she they got to introduce her um they've really you know made she's really made an impact so much where you know she's not gonna go over to the bad side she was just trying to figure out this dude and see if they for real if what elric 
what the Elric brothers were saying to her was for real. And I called it. I said, the only, I think Edward would more open up if you're not always confronting him in front of all these people. He can't say nothing. And he still said, I cannot answer that. He's not telling you. He's not saying to you that, you know, sorry about that. He's not saying to you that he can't, you know what I'm saying? He not, you know what I'm saying? He's saying he can't answer. That simply means that there got to be a reason, his top secret, a reason why he's not telling her. So she brought him into the tunnel and she's like, listen, there's no one around now. I need to know the truth. Okay. So as I said, you know, it's her. So he told her what was going on and the reason why he couldn't tell her, you know what I'm saying? He got people in danger that if, if he, if they keep their mouth shut, you know what I'm saying? Those people can stay protected. But if they find out that he's been telling everybody, you know what I'm saying? They, you know, the Fuhrer could kill Hawkeye, you know what I'm saying? All these people that were sent all over to the East, West, North and South that, you know, that were trying to figure this thing out and trying to figure out what happened to, to, um, to use. Yeah, you know I'm saying um, could be in danger because, you know, somebody is talking about what's you know, what's going on with the head of the military. So I'm glad they devised the plan to deal with this guy because I really didn't like him. He's he, he, he's a bum. bro. He's a bum. And, and she destroyed him and laid his ass in cement. And, you know, what I mean, it, they're digging a tunnel and the reveal with with what they're trying to do by the, been destroying these towns for all these years and stuff like that. The military has been included. Um, they've been trying to take over these places and making these sacrifices, creating these big ass alchemy circle um, to make everybody that's left behind immortal. So the more, my thing is, I think what they're planning to do is, I think what they're planning to do is to, create a big ass philosopher's stone so that they can remain immortal and to draw from the power of this big ass philosopher's stone. They're trying to play God and that's, ne that's never a good thing to do. Never ever is to play God and to, to, to try to, you know what I'm saying? Um, create things that you're not supposed to be doing and stuff like that. Like that's, that's just, you just don't do that. We all want to know the answers, but they're going about it in a way talking about these people are weak and they don't deserve it. You know what I'm saying? To be immortal. And it's not even world domination. It's just that they're so obsessed with grow with not growing old or being immortal. But to me, immortality is a curse, man. We, you know what I'm saying? Even though it's a, it's a blessing and a curse, I should say it is a blessing and a curse. If we should live forever, I think the, the, gen the generation, the, you know, the era belongs to the generation. That's my belief. The era belongs to the generation. You can't, you, you may live through, you know, different generations of people, but the era belongs to those generations. You need to go away so that the new generation can take over and build upon what you left behind. That's my belief. Yes. Anybody would say, Oh, I want to be around to see it. You get what I'm saying? But I think the reason why we have advanced so much as you know, as a world, as a society is because generations change. Listen, if everybody lived for forever, you get what I'm saying? If everybody lived forever, maybe certain things would not have been invented. You get what I'm saying? Maybe computers would have never been invented because everybody just around forever would have probably, you know what I'm saying? We have this saying, it said, if it, if, it, um, if it's not broken, don't fix it. Right. So maybe we would have been still run, um, still driving around in, in those old ass classic cars and not have the cars that we have today. I think one of the main reasons why we have these new technologies and stuff like that is because the generations have changed and because new people come into the world, smarter people, I think is smarter, um, discovering new things and all this other stuff. If people are old, 
You know what I'm saying? The older you get is not the smarter you get. The older you get is the wiser you get. And don't mistake wisdom with being smart. It's not the freaking same thing, okay? A lot of people think being smart and having wisdom is the same thing. No, it's not, <laughs> okay? Look up the definition of both of those. They'll give you two different meanings, okay? Um, so that is just my two cents on that. That is just my two cents on that. Um, I think the longer you're around is the more wisdom you gain but you don't get smarter as you get older okay you actually um you actually lose a, a, your sense of certain things as you get older old people will tell you this you start to forget shit you don't get <laughs> you don't get smarter as you get older you do gain a lot of wisdom though and make better choices you get what i'm saying and being smart don't mean you make good choices Okay, so I just summed it up for you in those two sentences. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, man, this is getting hot. I'm going to jump into two more episodes right now. I appreciate you guys for sticking around. Don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to hit the com to leave a comment. Let me know how you feel about what the of where I am in the anime at the current moment as you watching. Okay, and your boy is out. <laughs>